you speak more than one language, you're opening yourself up to way more opportunities. And so I tell these students that. I say, hey, you differentiate yourself. You're opening yourselves up to new opportunities. So how best to do that? And in this day and age, as you guys all are aware, there's thousands, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of ways to learn a language. You've got all of your new mobile apps. You've got your Rosetta Stone, which has kind of become antiquated and a thing of the past, and it really didn't work in the past anyway. Um, but uh, you've got traditional learning. You can learn at the universities, but hands down, the best way to learn a language is to fully immerse yourself in that country while you're studying the language. And if you're a college student, you've got the study abroad programs. And it's funny, I'll bring a personal story into this really quick, but my wife studied abroad here in Florence. She spent six months in Florence. And we got in the car yesterday coming from the airport. We had to find a new way because there was a taxi strike apparently yesterday. Um, we get in the car and the driver, she tells the driver, yeah, I spent six months living in Florence. And he said in Italian, well, you must speak very good Italian then. And she laughed and said, no, I don't speak any. And he turned around, which was dangerous in the car, looked directly at her and said, you were a very, very bad student. <laughs> you studied the wine too much. And she said, yes. He said, you could be a sommelier. Uh, but I tell these students, Go abroad, but use that time abroad not as three to six months of party time. Take a couple nights out of the week, learn the language. Go to Chamber of Commerce Young Professionals Networking Events. Go and do this, meet the people that are already living abroad. Learn the language, learn about the culture, and you can party still on the weekends. But spend a couple days doing something productive with your time there. 